Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We finally got the new 2023 Chevrolet Colorado in the garage to do an underhood tour outlining all the major technical information as well as the maintenance service points. The new 2023 Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon are offered with three variations of a 2.7 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. The one here is the mid-level L3B Turbo Plus in the Trail Boss and has 310 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque, and that's on regular unleaded fuel. The engine comes mated to an 8L80 8-speed automatic and our test truck is rated at 17 MPG City, 21 MPG Highway, and 19 MPG combined. The all-aluminum engine features direct fuel injection, a 10 to 1 compression ratio, and its turbocharger offers up to 20 psi of boost in this trim. It has variable cam timing and can shut down two of its cylinders when extra power isn't needed. It also features an electric water pump and an electronically controlled cooling circuit. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the large air filter box at the driver's side, then travels through a pretty large and complex air plenum before it gets around to the passenger side of the engine and into the dual volute turbocharger. From there, the boosted charge is ducted down into an air-to-air -air intercooler mounted low and behind the front fascia, before it's then routed back up to a composite plastic intake manifold on the driver's side. From there, it travels into the combustion chambers. You can see on the head all four spark plug coil packs, though servicing them will require you to pull a few things off and out of the way. Once the combustion is finished, spent air exits through an integral exhaust manifold and into the turbocharger, where an electronically controlled wastegate controls flow to the exhaust system. While it looks like a convoluted mess, service and maintenance on the 2.7 liter L3B engine is relatively straightforward. The sound cover is easily removed to give a better view and access to spark plugs if that's what you're after. The windshield washer fluid reservoir is located at the passenger side of the engine bay as is the sizable 12 volt battery, and boxes for various fuses and relays can be found nearby. The ECU is located just to the right of the battery down low, though it isn't typically user serviceable. The engine oil filler cap is at the top front of the engine and the dipstick can be found at the driver's side, notable by its bright yellow handle. The oil filter is accessed from down below. Brake fluid and engine coolant are both found at the driver's side firewall. Because our Colorado features conventional halogen headlamps, they're serviceable directly behind the main units. There's a serpentine belt for accessories on the engine, but it drives only the alternator and the AC compressor, as the power steering and water pump are both electric. Electric too is the radiator cooling fan, which we can see looking forward behind the radiator. Do keep your hands free, even if the engine is turned off. All right, there you go, my friends. Now, if you want way more detail than what we've just done on our sort of 30,000 foot level underhood tour, we have a complete deep dive into this engine that I was able to do when I was out in California test driving this truck the first time. They had a cutaway engine there. The engineer was there. I was able to have a long talk over dinner with him and get some nice pictures inside that engine and see what all of the parts and pieces are about. You can see that on our Chevrolet Colorado playlist right there. You can also see the test drive for this Trail Boss. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and that way you'll stay informed of everything we do.